Hello everybody, in this video I am going to show you how to set up Lua line and buffer line for Neovib. To get started, first we will open a browser and then search for lualine.nv and then go to the github page and you can customize it however you like, it is a status line for Neovim and scroll down and you will find this packer.nv line. Copy it and go to your um, slash dot config slash nvim in the terminal and then nvim lua slash plugin slash init dot lua then uh, go to the bottom and paste this i'll fix the indentation okay now save that and put it go back nvim init dot lua and pack the sync Okay, now this has installed nvim web dev icons and lualine.nvim if you don't have a nerd font already then you have to install that otherwise uh, you can't see icons in the status line or the buffer line so the next step is to create a folder called lua slash lua line config then after that cd lua, li, lua slash lua line config ls and nvim init dot lua and after that you have to paste this line colon wq then cd dot dot slash dot dot nvim init dot lua now we will require our lua line config folder in our lua folder so require lua line config colon wq okay as you can see the status line is there now but the color scheme is groove box by default so i am going to cd lua slash lua line config and then init dot lua and here i am going to add curly braces and hit enter now copy this setting a theme uh, line paste it and change the theme to not it is the one which i am using right now now let's go back and okay so now as you can see we have our status line i'll go full screen okay now we have our status line if i open a visual split i mean vertical split you can see here um, you can see the status line where the current file is focused so here right now this file is focused so here i can see the status line if i click on this now here uh, status line is there so i'm going to get out of full screen mode and I'm going to it out of this split ok done now you can customize it if you want you can customize your separators and sections but I am going to leave it right now because I am going to install buffer line buffer line dot mm. then you can go to their github page and then you can see here you can see all the buffers uh, properly at the top of your screen so scroll down if you can find this one copy it and e lua slash plugin slash init dot lua go to the bottom and paste this and this also requires the web dev icons so you need to install Nerd font for this one also. So and then in the Lua and Packer Sync. Okay. Now if I go back, you can see there is no buffer line yet. You will have to require buffer line. So put out of Neovim and KDIR Lua slash buffer line dash config. CD lua slash buffer line config and then init dot lua and then copy this and 
paste it here. Going to colon wq and cd dot 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 and then init dot lua and we are going to require that also of the line config. Okay. Exit and go back. Now you can see we have a buffer line. So let's uh, open another buffer. E lua slash buffer line config slash init dot lua and you can see if we have our buffers here let's open another buffer lua slash plugins slash init dot lua ok now you can see if there is no space left it will show an arrow and how many buffers are hidden so after that you can set uh, set these key bindings to move between buffers so i'll copy this and go to lua slash buffer line config slash init dot lua and vim dot cmd if you need multi line vim commands then you have to use double square brackets and then after that you can put as many vim commands as you want i'm going to copy paste this inside the vim.cmt okay now let's open another buffer now you can press opening square bracket b to go to the next buffer and b and closing square bracket to go to the previous buffer so let's press b and closing square bracket first and you can go to the next previous buffer then you can press opening square bracket and b to go to the next buffer but i don't like these key bindings i prefer tab and shift tab to do this so i'm going to change this to uh, angle brackets and t a b and change this to shift tab angle bracket capital s dash t a b close this colon w q ok and let's open another buffer lua slash buffer one ok slash unit dot lua now i can press shift tab to go to the previous buffer and tab to go to the next buffer now let's customize lua line so that it does not show these separators to disable these separators first let's go to the uh, website i mean github page and then you can scroll down here and uh, you can scroll down and see this section disabling separators copy inside the brackets and i'm going to edit lua slash lua line config slash init dot lua and then add a comma and paste this save and quit now as you can see we have a flat design in our lua line so that's it for this video in the next video i am going to show you how to install nvim tree which is a file explorer for neovim and if you like the video then like the video and if you did like the video tell me in the comments uh, what was missing and if you want to see more uh, content like this then subscribe to the channel